world is a confused place. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of a lot of different ideas floating around about success being tied up with money or fame or popularity or finding, you know, somebody who loves you just for who you are. And that is obviously completely untrue. I mean, really when it gets down to it, the only true measure of success is uh, being the owner of a second-hand, lightly used, Aaron Herman Miller chair. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait a second, isn't that the, the chair that's in the Museum of Modern Art? I mean, this chair is the perfect blend of art and business, uh, comfort and business. <laughs> Des is laughing so much upstairs. And, and ultimately, I think it's, it's really the peak you know, humanity has peaked. Uh, there's, there's something to be said for getting to the moon, for sure. There's something to be said for microwave ovens, um, and there's, there's certainly a lot of other improvements. Penicillin was good, um, but, but ultimately, you know, I don't think, I don't think we've, we've reached any higher than the air on Herman Miller chair. Now, when you first sit in one of these chairs, it feels comfortable, but you're not blown away by the comfort. Um, but over time, you know, you just, you start to, to rock, uh, can I adjust that? Yeah, whatever, whatever. Yeah, you can talk about your Picassos and your Warhols and, and, you know, all those guys, but for somebody to develop a, a work of art that, it, it's a versatile piece of artwork. And it's also useful, you know, it, not, not to say that art isn't useful, I think you can find uses for art, you can find... Uh, enjoyment and you know it can be therapeutic certainly for the artist but seldom can you find art that you can you know sit on and and that will support you and and feel uh, really ultimately beneficial to your health to your well-being you know I'm sitting on the peak of human ingenuity and and uh, it feels good it feels really good actually it feels like there's lumbar support I don't actually know what lumbar support means but I feel like it is here um, ultimately, when, when we're talking about success and that kind of thing, it can be a very, generally, it can be a very subjective, <laughs> it can be a really subjective thing. It can be, um, some people will find happiness in different things, but, you know, I am convinced that it is a undeniable fact, um, objectively true for everybody, that, uh, that Herman Miller really, uh, not only was he successful, but also, um, Behind any great man or great woman is a great chair. And behind every great chair is a great man. And that man is Herman Miller. And behind Herman Miller, you will find two great men. Uh, Don Chadwick and Bill Stumpf. Those are the two guys that actually designed this wonderful chair. I really have no idea who Herman Miller was or why he had the audacity to slap his name on this chair. Um, it might as well have just been called the Chadwick Stump chair. No. 